This is going to be the most popular video on YouTube. I'm going to make a DIY phone scope. Now, I used to have a phone scope, phone scope brand. I loved it. It was great. <laughs> I f don't know what the hell happened to it. I lost it. I think I left it on, I think I know what mountain, but. I won't be going back there for a while, and I'm a cheap gun, so I don't really want to buy another one. I mean, I might still. We'll just see how this works. Basically, I've got this old cell phone case that I'm actually not sure where it even came from. I found it in the somewhat utility drawer upstairs. And then I've got this thing. It's a adapter for a shop vac, Rigid, I believe is the brand. You could purchase them at Home Depot. It's from an accessory kit, I believe, but I'm pretty sure you can buy this part individually. It's been sitting around in the basement for who knows how long, never used it. So it happens to fit perfectly on the end of the spotting scope. So I'm just gonna cut it off, try to keep it a little bit low profile, and then I'm going to source a glue and I'm gonna glue it onto here. What I do have to do is I have to cut this little section out here because it's for a different model iPhone and the new, the phone that I have now, it comes over. So we're going to do that. We just got to find some glue, which I don't have and something to cut it with, with, which I might have. That'll do just, just nicely. Here we go. <clears throat> So I realized that I have absolutely, basically no tools and no glues and no anything at my house in my basement. So I decided to pop into my shop and I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the rest from here. I gotta cut the thing. I think I might just cut it on a table saw. Ah, <laughs> eh, maybe not. We'll, we'll, we'll try it's some. important to know that winging it is the best method. I wonder if WCB covers me on the weekend. Ah, fuck it. Woo! Lord knows that wasn't safe. I should have brought my tripod. Why didn't I bring my tripod? Stupid, stupid Michael. <laughs> looks, pre looks pretty centered to me. All right, so rather than looking into it and doing some research, I decided to just use 2P10. 
Maybe I'll rough it up a bit. Try to make sure those joints are joint surfaces are, are clean. There's actually very little gluing surface. So I don't think I don't think that this is gonna work out very well. Fuck it. Well, it's on there. We're just gonna wait a minute, let it dry a bit, and uh, see how it goes. As I am an impatient son of a bitch, I'm gonna add some activator to speed it up. I didn't use the activator in the first place because I am under the slight impression that you'll get a better bond without using the activator when you're gluing plastics. But now I just want to crisp up the outside bits. To be honest, it looks, it looks like it's a little off. <laughs> it's a little off. I actually purposefully put it off because now I want to break it off to see how, to see how well it would have stayed on. <laughs> Oh, fuck. It's actually working. I actually didn't expect it to stay on very well. So, shit. Okay, well. I'm actually kind of happy and surprised. I didn't think it was really going to stay on very well, so I wasn't actually trying too hard. <laughs> but it, it's actually going to work. So now I'll... You know, put put in some put in some time. It actually worked pretty good. So there. Well, you're welcome. Have a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cobra! Cobra! <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Works.